Hey what's up everyone, this is John Hang, and in today's video I'm going to be installing an outdoor outlet for my patio. It'll be coming from the garage and it'll be powering some outdoor lights. Let's just get into the video, hope you enjoy. It's been a really long time since my last video, but this is what I've been working on for the last month. It's about a 300 square foot uh, paver patio with a herringbone pattern. My idea is to have some pathway lights along this garden bed that I added to the side. But before I do that, I have to put an outlet over here so that I can plug the transformer that will power the lights into here. To do that, I'm going to have to tap into an outlet that's already on the other side of this wall, have that come out of this wall, and go into a outlet right there, a receptacle, and then just plug in the transformer. Alright guys, so here are the items that I bought from Lowe's this morning. So here I've got a metal outlet box that'll secure to the wall with some metal screws, or some concrete screws, sorry. Here is an outdoor weatherproof cover so that I can plug stuff into it without water, uh, worrying about water. Here is a 1 inch and 1 eighth hole saw that I will use to drill a hole for this LB bracket, or LB conduit. You'll see what that is in a second. And then I've also got some PVC primer cement. Um, to make sure that everything's watertight, I've got this silicone caulk. I think it's silicone. And then I've also got this fire block sealant. Um, I bought it because there are wires on the product and I'm trying to weather seal this. And then earlier in the video, I've also got that pipe over there. So let's get started. All right, so here's the outlet that I'm going to tap into. You can see that my patio is right over there. So pretty much what I want to do is run a wire through this wall onto the other side into that outlet box. First, what I'm going to do is go over to the breaker right here. And I know that it's one of these, so I'm just going to turn, uh, let's say, all of them off. All right, so I've turned two of them off. The top ones are actually these lights, and I want some light to work with. So these two are off, and I know that this is off because I've got this wire checker, or whatever you call it, plug it in, and no power. If I turn it back on, like that, the power is back on now. So I know that now this is the one that I need to keep off. So now I'm pretty much clear to start working safely. All right, so tools for this next step, sorry I didn't mention them earlier. I've got a drill with a drill bit plus extender. So I'm using a half inch today, half inch spade bit, wire cutters, a box cutter, uh, twist thingies for the wires, um, and some leftover, I think this is 14 gauge wire. Um, I do have more, but obviously I want to reuse some as much as I can. So I'm going to unscrew this and see what's inside. All right, so I've got it open now. Um, you can see that the preview installer uh, actually drywalled over the thing, so I had to break off this a little bit. So I unscrewed it, and if you can see from back there, there's actually not much slack, which is kind of uh, a no-no, I guess, because um, now I can't really work on this, uh, or at least my ability to work on this will be limited, but I'll do what I can. So what I'm going to do next is just uh, unscrew this and see what I can do. All right, so I finally got in the outlet off. It took a while. Um, I actually had to cut some wires because there's so little space to work with. But, so now what I have to do is drill a hole in the back of this, and that should go to the other side of this wall. Starting off with a pilot hole um, so that it doesn't go flying around everywhere. It's a little bit dark, but um, hopefully this is good enough. All right, so now that I got my pilot hole, I'm going to put on my extender. So extender here, pull this into the chuck. Well, I was going to use my extender, but guess what? It's hard to tell, but this is actually uh, dented, so my attachment actually won't fit in anymore. So I'm going to try to use this without the extender. It should work. This looks like it's four inches. So. Just gonna go straight in. All right, and do you guys see a light? So I'm gonna go to the other side now and finish from the other side. 
All right, so here's the tiny hole that I screwed in just now, or drilled in just now. So I want it to be as minimal as possible, so that's why I'm stopping here and I'm gonna go get the hole saw that I bought earlier. I'm gonna put the pilot hole straight up to here, close as possible. And so here I'm just trying to cut the uh, siding. Oh, so I'm gonna cut as slowly as possible. And, well, that was quick. Uh, siding's literally like, I don't know, a sixteenth of an inch. And so from here, all I have to do is pull a wire through. So this hole saw was actually like, I don't know, $11, so I'm gonna return it because I literally used it for four seconds. Which is why I tried to keep the packaging as, uh, you know, intact as possible. Alright, so back to this thing. So what it's gonna do is sit right there. And um, I think I actually want to cut into this uh, insulation a little bit with the hole saw. So it'll go from the box down here, and yeah. All right, so I just finished cutting that hole, and what I'm gonna do next is get my wire and just feed it through this hole. Hopefully it fits. Yep, looks like it fits very well. Feed this through, so I'm just gonna continue on to the other side. All right, so it's fished all the way through. I left a good amount of slack on both sides. So I'm cut it about here, and so what I'm going to do next is cut, I don't know, five inches or so. Going to cut this open. Alright, so I've got my three wires here. I'm going to put them down for a second. I'm going to get this wire and open it up. Same thing. And now what I'm going to do is, um... Get my wire cutters and expose these wires about an inch. So just pull down, quarter twist, and pull. Same thing with the black, quarter twist, pull. I'm gonna do the same thing with this, but on both sides. And again with the white that I had on the side. All right, so next what I'm gonna do is, uh, if you guys remember before, we had wires in here already. So I'm gonna try to tap into those. I know that one's a ground and or one's coming in from the box over there and one's going that way. So I need to figure out which one those are. All right, so I've got all the wires stripped now and um, to tell which one's the active wire or the hot wire, uh, I can use this thing again. And I'm just gonna put one end to each side, like a black end to this side and a white end to this side. So if I put this prong on this white, and the other one on this black, you can see that it doesn't light up. I'm going to do the same thing with the bottom one. So, light there. And you can see here that um, it's lighting up. So that means that the ones on the bottom are the hot ones. What I'm going to do next is wire everything together and I'll explain what's going on after that. Alright, so I finished wiring everything up. Um, it was a little bit hacky, so... Um, I had to use this one to extend the black wire so that I had room to actually move stuff. But so, if I plug this in, the breaker is still off. If I go over here and turn the breaker on, got, got the two lights, which means it's good. I've also wired up the load, so this one's on the same line, and this one is working also. So, so far, everything's wired up correctly. All right, so now that the interior wiring is finished, what I need to do now is put the outlet box right there underneath where it's going to go. And you guys already saw it before, I'm going to have that LB conduit uh, do a 90 degree turn and then go straight down into the box right there. All right, so for the outdoor outlet box in the packaging, they give you the box that comes with the green grounding screw, mounting hardware and two plugs, as well as two screws for that mounting hardware. So this is the front of the box that will be facing out from the wall. On the back side, you'll see that these holes are here, and you actually will put this mounting hardware and screw it in so that um, you, when you flip it over, you'll have something like that to screw into the wall. So this is how it looks like with those mounting screws in. So I put one at the each corner so that um, it has two points of contact rather than just at the top so it doesn't swing around like that. Um, next, I'm going to put in the plugs with some silicone. All right, to secure the box to the wall, I'm going to be using this plug and screw. And to drill the hole for that, I'm going to be using a quarter inch masonry uh, bit. 
and I bought this from Lowe's um, for like $20. I'll link it on uh, Amazon in the description. Alright, so I'm back outside. Here's where the wire is, and ideally I would like the box to be about as below, like straight below, as possible. So you can see here, I've already drilled out one of the holes, and you can see the plug right there. And how I did that was pretty much, I just put this right here. You can see how, you know, I want this to line up where the mortar is because the mortar is a little bit easier to drill through. And then I just got a level, put it on here, to a little straight, and then that's how I got this mark here. Don't know if you can really see it, but it's in Sharpie. And so now I'm just gonna take my drill and drill through as 90 degrees as I can. All right, so just gonna put my plug in there. And it looks like it's pretty secure. I'm gonna get a hammer. All right. All right, so here's the box. You can see the silicone in there. All right, so now it's securely in place and very strong in there. All right, so pretty much at this point, I've used the PVC cement to kind of put a watertight fit on here, as well as here. It's my first time doing anything with PVC cement, so it's not as clean as I want it to be. Um, I'll definitely learn some more later. But so next, what I'm going to do is use these two-hole straps to secure it to the siding. All right, so we're almost at the end of the project now. I've got my GFCI from Leviton. I'll uh, include an Amazon link. I got this from Amazon. I'm gonna just wire it up to this. So what I'm gonna do first is, this is a lot of wire, so I'm gonna cut off about this much, I think. All right, so here's the GFCI. All right, give it a tug. Next is the hot bar. You can see here that this says line. So I'm gonna put the hot wire here. You can see that this says line and black with gold, white to silver. So this is the gold side. Put it in like that. Same thing with this side. And now it's wired up. Let's test this. I have my receptacle tester again. I'm going to plug it in. And you can see that it's not currently on. So I'm gonna go inside and turn on the breaker. You can see that the very bottom says that if the left two are lit up, it's correct. All right, so I've turned the breaker back off and I've confirmed, pretty much at this point, I've confirmed that the GFCI is working as it should. So now I'm just going to push it back into this box. Um, to make stuff fit into a box easier, you wanna loop it so that when you push it in, it'll just fold in on itself like that. And um, before I fully secure it in, I'm gonna put silicone around here because I've always found that these foam gaskets don't really work that well. All right, and very last thing. So I've got my LB right here, and you can see that I can see through the building, through the side of the garage. So what I wanna do is I have this fire block. Um, I think anything can work, but this was just right by there. So what I'm gonna do is fill this up. It's a uh, foaming spray. So I've shaken it for about a minute, and I'm just gonna put a little bit in here. I don't think that I'll need much. Yeah, I really don't need much. And that should fill up the entire thing. Um, I think that I don't need to clean this up. Uh, next homeowner can do it. And so what I'm going to do next is just... Uh, oh! i got to clean this up now. Pretty much what I'm going to do is caulk around here to make this uh, even more sealed. 
All right, and so with that, this project is done. We've got this sealed up. We've got this secured to the siding. And then this is waterproof or water resistant. Just lift this up and plug something in. Thanks for watching. Um, if you enjoyed this, uh, consider subscribing or liking or leaving a comment. Um, hope you guys liked it. And until next time, this has been John Hang. Thank you.